morning guys it is first day shoot day really really exciting everyone's pumped everyone's well rested we gave everyone like a little bit of a lion this morning because i don't feel like you get the best out of people when they're tired and cranky and one of our lovely models came all the way from brazil so she's been traveling for like 26 hours um but look at this lovely villa there's inez she's doing some video um but we're super excited i'm going to take you around for the day um to kind of show you what we're picking up um we've been on location today as well um so we actually drove straight from the airport to do a recce because where we're shooting tomorrow is an hour and a half away look how cute the villa is it's like really proper italian style villa um and it's quite nice because before last year and me lost we were in a hotel so everyone was in separate rooms but everyone had the same roof we we're getting very up close and personal um and we've got such an amazing team um working with us this year i'm really really excited we've got a few new faces we've got ed cook on photography um and we've got alice Lindsay on makeup we've got dom Seely on hair our routine favorite um we've got inez on video um and again you've seen her before she is a regular um and then we've got fran as well who is helping us assist and then of course you know laura um and then we've got these two beautiful models noani who's from brazil and then we've also got the lovely martina um so yeah i'm gonna take you along on our journey hope you enjoy don't judge because it's very very makeshift it's it's not a super, super, super produced shoot. It's very much like it's it's me directing the shoot. So let's just set our expectations. But the pictures always end up end up really, really amazing. I feel like it's just best to let the professionals do what they do best, give them kind of creative control. I obviously give them a brief at the start. But what I really like is kind of seeing them piece together their own ideas and like watch their imagination go wild and, you know, and then they just normally produce something really super beautiful. So I'm excited and uh, watch this space also. Look at this. Lovely green swimsuit. Gold hardware, my favorite. A bit of pizza, oh. a bit of crispies. Dom's having a bit of cheese. I'm removing the cheese off the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we're then going to head out to location. Very exciting.
we have why? Of course. No. Um, guys, we have just wrapped from our location day. We got some such amazing shots. I can't wait to share it with you. Um, it's been a bit of a long day. I've not been good at vlogging. Sorry about that. Um, but the team's been amazing. It's been a massive team effort because we did about three or four different locations all in one area, and we had to drive an hour and a half away. Um, but it's been really nice. Obviously, tomorrow's our last day. I can't believe how quickly it's gone. Um, I feel like whenever we come away, I always think we have like an abundance of time, but we actually don't. Um, but I'm really excited for tomorrow. I'm excited to get home. I'm excited to get some food in my Bella. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to share the shots with you. Um, and yeah, I'll check in tomorrow. Good morning, campers. Um, it's day three of shoot. It's a beautiful day, as you can see. The sun is shining, the birds are tweeting. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. We're just kind of staying in the villa today, picking up some sort, shot, sorts, shots. Um, we are doing some social. Um, I feel like the time has just gone. Like I cannot believe it's our last day and we leave tomorrow. It's just crazy because I feel like I was getting really comfortable. I was finding my way around the country lanes. I was just getting myself acquainted with the area and now we're gonna have to go. Um, but it's been such an amazing trip. It's been amazing to come to the Italian countryside. I don't know if you can see, but it's just blue skies. It's beautiful. Um, but yeah, we got some amazing shots yesterday. I cannot wait to share the campaign with everybody. Um, I'm so impressed with like our crew. We have had the best crew. Um, just the energy is really high. And it's always quite nerve wracking when you're working with new people. You're like, how are they going to be? Um, especially with like a big group of people under pressure when it's hot, people are tired. Um, but the crew has just been unbelievable. And we've got the two most beautiful, gorgeous models who have been amazing as well. Um, so we've had a very successful trip, um, if I don't say so myself. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go in and get freshened up because hair and makeup needs a tiny bit of top up. Um, and yeah, I'll take you through the rest of the day of what we get up to. Right, I'm back in here. I'm going to be shooting some social stuff today. We're doing a loose wave. Being dirty. Nice and dirty. Like how <laughs> I like it. Um, it's so hot today, so I just don't want to burn. But I equally, I'm really enjoying taking some saucy, saucy content. I feel like we've been planning this shoot for so long. Like we literally did all of this last year. So like to see it all come into fruition and see other people wearing it has been like really amazing. So thanks, Domi, for doing me here. You're welcome. You're welcome, love. Give me a yee-haw. A what? A yee-haw. Yee-haw. Yeah, it's a yee-haw. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I will take you through when I'm doing some socials and give you a bit of BTS and you worry. midway shooting and I wanted to take you through some of our styles obviously it's high summer hallelujah people can finally go on holiday um but I wanted to take you through some of the designs some of the styles so at the minute I'm wearing the Gabriella top it's in like a lovely yellow zebra print um and what I really like about this it's kind of like our barely there style I mean the back's a little bit twisted but you kind of get the gist like it's a little tie back so there's no clasp no nothing um and it's got some really nice gold hardware which is really nice and then I've got I'm gonna stand up and then I've got the peas bottoms on, which are nice. So these are like no gold hardware, really basic. And these are actually for a different top, but you obviously you can mix and match to whatever you prefer. Um, so 
That's a really nice material that we've used in the yellow zebra. So it's kind of like a waffle, um, but it's kind of textured and it's really nice and it's very supportive. It's quite a thick material. Um, so if you've got small boobs like me, um, then it means that you're supported. And also for the bigger busts, you're also supported as well. Um, so yeah, let me show you a few more of the pieces. Ta-da! I've had a change. This green, I'm obsessed. Like I love poppy colors, especially for summer. I'm gonna stand up because it looks way nicer. So, we've chosen to go with like a high leg, so it's really flattering. Like the bum is like very modest. I don't know if you can see it over the chair, excuse me. Out the way, you. Um, the bum is like quite modest. Um, like I said, high leg. It's this really, <laughs> it's like genuinely, I don't know what is next door. It's like a pack of wolves. Um, I don't know if you can see the material, but it's like a lovely hexagonal Italian fabric that we've got here. So it's gorgeous. Um, and then on one shoulder, we have the gold hardware, which is really, really nice. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite pieces because I feel like it's really nice. You can probably wear it with shorts. You can mix match it. You can wear it during the day. You can wear it to a pool party. Um, but equally, it's really, really comfortable. Um, like this sits quite low down, so it's not gonna give you any trouble if you're sunbathing or anything. And yeah. Oh, it's pretty chic, if you'd ask me. Also, fun fact about this swimsuit is that it's named after one of our lovely, beautiful, open, open casting girls called Anna. So this is the Anna. To be fair, we haven't actually told anybody about this, so I can, I can introduce them, because the last one I wore, the yellow, is called Gabriella. After another one of our open casting girls, so shout out to Gabriella and Anna and everyone else in our open casting. Um, watch this space, because I'm going to be doing a little reel and you're going to see what bikinis you are. Me again. Um, so this is our lovely, what's it called? Ines. <laughs> I had it. a mind blank. Um, so this is our lovely Ines, um, named after our lovely and wonderful videographer. Um, I've actually known her for a long, long time. Um, so it only felt right to name a bikini after her. So this is one of our classic styles. So we've had this kind of throughout um, the first shop in February, um, and we'll probably continue to have this shape. This is one of my favorite shapes, really simple triangle bikini um, with lovely small branded hardware. Um, and what's great is that all of the fabrics are sourced in Europe, like we use predominantly Italian fabrics, and now we've just got our trims from Europe as well. So, great supply chain from us, very sustainable. Um, but yeah, this is the lovely kind of like purple shade. I'm obsessed with purple. Um, I think it's really appropriate for summer, pool parties um, and if you can see it's kind of got like seashells and starfish on it like it's a really lovely fabric um, this took us ages to get again the dogs um, how rude Twilight. yeah um, but yeah this is really nice so this is without padding but it does come with pads as well um, and these bottoms in the purple also come in the bottoms that I was just wearing which is kind of like the high waisted um, they're not high waisted. Hipster. The hipster bottoms. So you can pair this with a hipster bottom if you'd prefer. Um, I personally prefer the chai side. Are they gonna let me talk? No. They don't like the hipster bottoms. Fucking hell. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you now. What am I showing them now? The Catherine. I'm showing you the Catherine, guys. Bear with. So this is the Catherine. You guys have seen it in khaki and black, and we decided for summer we're gonna bring it out in white. It's perfect for hens, it's perfect for just general holiday got a really low scoop back, which is really elegant. And then at the front, we've got like a slight V, like obviously I'm not blessed in the chest department, but it's really, really supportive. I actually think this is a six, so this is a little bit small for me, but I'll show up and show you the full style. So as you can see, same again, really high leg. Well, say really high leg, it's not really that high. Um, it's a nice little belt to cinch you in, but again, like it's loose and you don't need to adjust it. It's just there. Um, and then at the back, like again, the coverage isn't, not bad. We didn't want to do. We didn't want to do like a massive, like no coverage on the bum. Again, I am wearing a six, so I would preferably be wearing an eight because I'm a size eight. Um, so this would co cover a little bit more of my bum. But I absolutely love this style. It shows how stretchy the fabric is. It shows how stretchy the fabric is. Thank you, Mama. Um, yeah, it's a really super stretchy fabric. If you if you bought the Catherine in black, it's the similar kind of toweling. So it's a really Same beautiful. One. Exactly. The same yeah. Similar. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful toweling. Um, just be careful not to get any stains on it. Um, but, really elegant piece, perfect for summer. And I hope you enjoy the oil. Oil? The hole. The oil. 
So obviously I really want to talk about price point because those of you who have been with us for a long, long, long time um, will know that we've kind of incrementally increased in price and you're going to see a bit of a price change with High Summer as well. All of these pieces are more expensive except this Catherine piece, which is at the same price point as the Catherine swimsuit from last drop. Um, we obviously wanted to have an entry level. We didn't want to price anyone out. Um, but it's been a really difficult kind of process because we wanted to give you guys the highest quality materials. They're all Italian fabrics, they're all made in Europe. And being a sustainable brand, being made in Europe, um, it costs a lot of money. So yeah, that comes with a price tag. But all of these pieces are so, like they're, they're luxury products, like they will last you a lifetime. Um, and that's why we've decided to make really, really classic kind of pieces and classic styles. I think another thing that's really important to say is that we've also been kind of playing around with different fabrics, um, which if you bought from our Milos collection, you'll notice that they were all the same fabric. Um, in this collection, we've got so many different fabrics, so many different feels, so many different patterns, so many different colors. Um, and I'm so glad that we've been able to do that. Um, and obviously that's something that we thought was the right decision. Like I absolutely love it. They feel so premium. Um, and that's something that I feel like I want in a bikini. Like I don't want to buy something for kind of a midway 40, 50 pounds from somewhere that's still fast fashion and it's still not gonna last me as long. I'd rather spend the extra money um, paying something that's gonna last me a lifetime. So that's kind of where we're sat. So I would say we're sat kind of the bottom end of the luxury market, um, which again is still really accessible. And I think, again, we're trying to encourage the behavior of buying something, looking after it and wearing it for a long, long time. Um, so yeah, we're really, really excited to share it with you. We've worked so, so, so hard um, on this summer collection. It's been in the works for a long, long time. Um, the way that our supply chain works, which will be the same for any like tr truly sustainable brand, is that everything takes a lot longer to produce. Um, everything's a lot slower. Um, we can't adapt as quickly as the fast fashion brands. Um, we very much planned this like over eight months ago. Um, everything's a lot more considered because we have the environment in the front of our heads. So um, I really hope you enjoy all of our products. Um, I'm gonna put all the pricing below and all the links to everyone that I've been wearing in this video. Um, and I hope you really enjoy this vlog as well. Um, it's really important to me that you guys feel like you're included in our journey and why we make decisions and all of that. So yeah, I hope this gives you an insight into why we made the decisions that we've made. And I hope you guys can support us on our journey. And we're so grateful for all of you um, for watching and also for supporting us as a small, small sustainable brand. Here's a wrap. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, baby. Good work, team. Good stuff. <laughs> Good work. <laughs>